Let me explain by uh, this, this term, gambling in the stock market, yeah, by giving an illustration. So I have uh, this uh, 500 yen. Yeah, so let's say I'm going to take this coin and I'm going to put it into any of my hands. So if I'm going to ask the audience, uh, where, where is the coin? Yeah, which one? We choose the left one or the right one. Yeah. So if you pay attention to where I put my coin, the answer is actually on, on the right. Uh, you're able to guess it right is because you have seen where my coin is. But if I don't see it, the chances of you getting it right is 50-50. So most of the people, when they buy stocks, they thought that it's like guessing where is the coin. But this time around, they are not guessing whether the, the coin is left or right, but rather the stock price is going up or going down. If they buy stocks trying to guess whether it's going up or going down, this is gambling. Because uh, buying stocks is not guessing whether it's up or down, and nobody has ever done well in the stock market by guessing. Then, then what is investing? For example, when I came to Tokyo, I saw a lot of family marts and you other convenience store. Starbucks is also pretty popular over here. So Starbucks is a company that's listed in the New York Stock Exchange. So when we want to buy Starbucks stocks, we, we, we don't guess the share price of whether the stock is going to go up or go down in the future. So the question that we ask about Starbucks usually got nothing to do with the stock price. So if you want to buy Starbucks stocks, we may ask questions like, how many Starbucks cafe are there in the world? How does Starbucks make money? Other than selling coffee, do they sell anything else? How much is their revenue? How much profit do they make per year? Where are these cafes in the world? What, what are their future plans? Do they plan to grow more cafes in the future? So these are the questions that investors ask because when we buy a stock, we are buying a portion of the company. So investing requires understanding what the company does. So once you fully understand what the company does, the next is to buy at a cheap price. And this is called investing, which is different from the uh, previous example where we guess where is the share price? Is it up? Down. So the moment you go inside the stock market and you try to get stock price, you are gambling. And so unfortunately, I've never seen gamblers making money consistently. But I do see good investors making money consistently. So to be an investor, fortunately or unfortunately, we, we have to learn something. But of course, the intention of learning something is so that we do not lose money and yet we can make good money out of it. So I hope the audience will spend effort uh, learning something about investing and avoid anything that's got to do with guessing.